Vlogmas Day 15. We are over the halfway point. Feels kind of crazy. You know what's funny is I was actually looking because I wrote in my bullet journal like my ratings for all of the matchas that we've had so far and I've only tried half of them so far because of my unfortunate running out of almond milk incident. So we definitely need to get on trying more of those. But anyway, it is now 10.30. I've been up for quite a few hours now. I actually put on makeup today, which I haven't done during the day in a while, so that feels pretty good. But I figured we would just get started with opening up the advent calendars. We now have three. If you watched yesterday's vlog, I got a sock advent calendar that is Nightmare Before Christmas themed, so we may as well just start with that one. Socks are incredibly exciting for me, so we're on day three of this one. It is a 12-day advent. I'm just completely destroying this. It, it's not opening nicely. We got another short pair of socks and it says Christmas Town. And again, they're this like teal and purple. So I'm guessing we have like a nice little matching situation going on, which is very fun. Might wear them to the gym today. Who knows? Moving on to Siate, day number 15. This one says you are golden and it's actually a metallic. Oh my gosh. It's called Stay Golden and it's a really beautiful like deep burnt brownish gold color. Oh my gosh, that's so exciting. Oh, I wish I could open it and see if it's really good formula or if it's very, very sheer, but I guess we'll find out. And then we've got some matcha, which I can finally drink because I now have almond milk. Oh my gosh, look at how this is really falling apart. I might have to move these. Okay, that's a little bit better. Okay, day number 15 is maple matcha. How very Canadian of them. Here is what it looks like. I can't smell it, but let's try it. does smell very maple-y. I used two teaspoons today just because I feel like I've been not getting enough flavor out of them. I like this one. Okay, this one's really good. It just tastes like, well, I mean, it tastes like maple matcha. It tastes like matcha that's been sweetened with like maple syrup instead of sugar or honey. No, I like this. This is very good. Still has a little tiny bit of that artificial sweetness after, but not as much as usual. I feel like this is definitely a four and a half. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do two teaspoons every day, but I'll probably try to do a little bit more just because I realize there's less like matcha matcha in them than what I usually use. But I feel like I can definitely do two teaspoons and be fine. But anyway, I'm going to get some stuff done. So yeah, catch up with you guys in a bit. <laughs> Hello friends, update is now like 12 o'clock ish. I just got a notification that my package did arrive. So that's where the day is gonna go. If you guys didn't know, you probably do because I'm sure it's in the title of whatever today's vlog is. But I did order yet another Ikea Helmer. The saga of just buying Helmers, going to Ikea, spending a lot more money than I should on this instead of just buying the correct amount the first time continues. So I guess we're on part three now of of nail polish organizing. So I have to go downstairs and get that. I'm hoping Ryan will actually grab it for me because it's a little heavy, but I also have to grab something for my car and talk to the leasing office. So I'm gonna get that done and then I will catch up with you guys once we have the Helmer in hand. I'll show you guys a quick fit check because I haven't done it in a while. I'm just wearing this big galaxy hoodie from Hot Topic. This is actually a men's hoodie, but I thought it was really cute. So I grabbed it. I also have these very ripped leggings on, which honestly, Probably not a smart idea because I do have to go outside and it is cold outside, but I just really feel like wearing leggings right now <laughs> and all of my other leggings are dirty. So I actually also really need to do laundry. And then I am wearing the new socks from the advent calendar. So this is the moment. This is, this is probably not the vibe, but here we are. Oh, she's here. Please let this be the last Helmer I need. My goodness. So I don't think I explained to you guys why I needed another Helmer, but I'll let you know now. So basically, Basically, I only had one Milmer that didn't fit, Milmer being the old kind of drawer that I used to have, and that was my picture of polishes, but that one is absolutely packed full, so I think it's going to be more than one Helmer drawer full. And originally, I was going to take out my gel drawer and use that drawer as a picture polish drawer and then store my gels elsewhere, but after I reviewed my China Glaze Holiday 2021 collection, I realized that because the drawers were so fully packed, there's no room for new collections coming in. I need to be able to store new stuff and I wasn't even thinking about that when I decluttered and I ended up decluttering over 500 polishes, but still it was not enough 
for the Helmers. I now have a plan. A few of you guys actually suggested that I squeeze in one more Helmer in that little area where I have my lamp and then just use a lamp on top of that. So that is the plan for now. I'm gonna squeeze in my last Helmer drawer. I really, really hope this is the last one because I genuinely could not fit any more in this apartment. And then I do have to get a new lamp, like a table lamp, but I'm gonna try to find one. I was looking online, I really couldn't find one, but I'm gonna go to Home Goods this weekend. I need one that is a table lamp that is enough to light a whole room, which I'm not even sure if that's possible. So the reason that I kind of need it in that specific spot is because that's the outlet is the light switch. So that's like the spot that I need it to be, but it will not fit if I also have the floor lamp there. So definitely need to do that. Gonna go this weekend probably with Nicole so yeah, gotta build a new Helmer. Not the ideal, oh my gosh, look at this hair sticking straight up. I really never wanted to build another Helmer ever again, but here we are. I do have a little bit more work to do and then I think we're gonna eat lunch, so it's probably gonna be a little bit until we build it. I'll take you guys along once we do because everybody loves watching me struggle at building Helmers, right? <laughs> By the way, it was actually not too cold out, so I was able to wear these pants without really struggling. But okay, catch up with you guys in a little bit. Ryan's mishap with the lox salad this weekend really made me in the mood for lox. <laughs> dinner and as you know the best dessert is furniture building so we're gonna build this Helmer real quick we'll see if it's another one of the relatively easy ones the true test will these snap in all right it's another one of the easy ones <laughs> Ikea please work on your quality checking I don't even know how to do this now <laughs> We have completed it with minimal annoyance. So now we're gonna go put it in the room, see if it fits. I actually didn't measure it, so here's hoping. Okay, so update, it does fit. My light is right here and it's not gonna fit in that little corner because it does have a base. So now I have no idea how to do my lighting situation. I mean, I guess the best thing to do would be to have a lamp on this actual Helmer, but I don't have one of those right now. So for right now, this is just gonna look a little crazy. I don't even know, can I open my closet? Okay, well, when I open my closet, I won't be able to access those drawers, but that's okay. It'll teach me to keep the closet door closed, which I really should do anyway. I'm gonna be honest, this is kind of a mess right now, so I'm not really sure that I want to fill these drawers until I have something, because this, this cord is like very, very tight. Like, I don't even want to move it so that I can access these drawers. This is where we're at right now. Now we are six drawers deep. Don't ever let me buy a Helmer again. This is the last time. I don't want any more. I really don't want to mess with this until I have a lamp that I'm not going to be working around, so I need to find myself a nice lamp now. And I really want it to be stuck to that particular outlet because I want it to be connected to the light switch, you know? Home Goods is actually open until like 11, but I know Nicole wants to go with me, so I might have to wait until this weekend and then we can do our organizing. Definitely not ideal, but also not the worst. I'm glad that it fits at least because that was something that I probably should have checked ahead of time. I guess I'm just going to spend the rest of the night probably editing a video for my main channel. So that is what's gonna be going on, but I will catch up with you guys at the end of the night if you'd like. Oh my gosh, I forgot. I got another ColourPop package. ColourPop is really working overtime, let me tell you. Look at how light this font is. How am I supposed to read that? <laughs> Oh my gosh, this makes me feel very old. New blotted lip and the Gone Matte palette. Okay, there's a bunch of these blotted lips. Wow, I'm definitely not gonna keep all of these because I don't need all of them. You guys know I have way too many lip products, but maybe I will keep one or two and then give the rest to friends. Oh my gosh. I am unreasonably excited for this. I don't even know what colors are in it. I imagine it's just neutrals, but this just feels nice. Oh, I kind of wish there was a mirror in here, but oh my goodness, look at this. The Gun Matte Palette, oh man. You guys actually might not know this about me, but 
despite the fact that I usually wear a very colorful eyeshadow, I love neutrals, and even more than neutrals, I love matte neutrals. I actually very rarely wear shimmery eyeshadow. I feel like I do it for videos more than I do it for real life. This is what I need in an eyeshadow palette. Like I need it to be, I need there to be a little dark section because I always put black on the outer corners of my eyes. This is good. This is what I needed. Oh man, I'm excited for this. Maybe I'll wear it tomorrow. We can see what I can do with it. Well, that's really fun. But anyway, yeah, I'm gonna go edit now. I actually have a terrible headache. I feel like I've been saying that for the last couple of days, but I just took some Tylenol. I feel like my sinuses, I don't know, it, it feels like it might be related to the fact that the weather keeps on changing between being extremely cold and extremely warm. The pressure is just like hurting my sinuses, you know what I mean? So yeah, gonna go edit now. <laughs> Forgot to update you guys, but I am gonna go read in bed for the rest of the night and I am going to go to sleep. That's it for another day. Thank you guys for joining me. We will be organizing the polishes soon. Don't worry, stay tuned for that. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. <music>